only 6,200 pounds, so plenty half ton towable, and only used one time by the one and only original owner, a 274 super slide bath entry bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And it's, it's almost sad. Um, the folks bought it right here, brand new. They kind of did like an overnight backyard camp one time. And then it sat as a lawn ornament until they traded it in on a, uh, a wolf pup here at Haylet RV. The only thing I can draw from that is that they just felt this was too big and too much for what they wanted and they wanted something smaller that they could jet set around in, uh, I guess a little more easily. So this is basically all but new in every way but the title. Same as new RV finance available <laughs> and just not the new RV price tag whatsoever. Now this is not going to be my longest video because a, I mean, with the popularity of the Cherokee campers and getting one like this, that's technically used at a used price point, um, it doesn't need any help selling. I could probably never put this on the internet and it's likely going to sell in less than a week. Um, you know, that's kind of been the trend here lately. But I wanted folks to get to see, you know, the, the whole truth of it and the fact that it is um, really fully accessible in transit with the slide closed, you can get back to the bathroom. Now remember, you've got a bath entry door, so that's easy. But I mean, even the bunks, the sleeping area, everything, you don't lose access to anything with the slide closed here. This is really just gonna be a, a quick flyby video because, it, like I said, this one just doesn't need a whole lot of time and attention. Cherokee was the first, and this was really one of the first generations to bring that theater style uh, folding sofa cup holder armrest into the industry. Um, it's where so many other brands, like you, you've actually seen it trickle into the Springdale and the Freedom Express families that we have here at Halet RV. So th these guys even influence laminated construction. Um, below that dinette right there, you've actually got a, a pair of these full extension uh, drawers, which, you know, 40 inch full extension drawers, you don't get those in every camper every single day to give you easy uh, access to that storage below the dinette there. Um, as we uh, pan on back, I do want to take a moment to point out just the maximum size windows they have here and all the cross breeze that passes through. And this was actually a decor that didn't get produced a lot, not because it wasn't popular, but uh, just because everything, this was called, I believe, latte, and everything went to natural. So, <laughs> in a way, kind of a collector's item, I guess. I don't know. Now, you've got your, you know, very common now, double over double bunkhouse. But what I want to point out is I purposely left that little half curtain closed right there because you've got two separate curtain arrangements going on. You've got a half curtain that closes this section off. Then you've got the full curtain down here that closes that section off. So you can have separate upper, lower bunk, come and go privacy. Of course, with the built-in bunk ladder to get you up there, easy peasy, no sweat. The bathroom back here, it's a bathroom. <laughs> not, not much else to say about it. But here's the thing, guys. Look at this. They never used it. The sewer system in this hasn't been used. They never used the toilet. All the original plastic is still on there. I don't think this was ever even de-winterized for when we winterized it when the folks purchased it at the time of year that they purchased it. So the water system in this is basically a virgin water system, I guess you could say. Max Air Vent Fan up here, giving us that extra airflow where you want and need it most. And uh, the class's largest medicine cabinet and big sink. And with, uh, you'll find that all of the countertops in this also are a sealed edge press membrane thermal foil. You'll see this stuff repeated throughout the kitchen area. Now real quick, I do want to back up um, to uh, take a look at this big pantry over here. This thing has just a, uh, a large, large pantry. And what I like about it, guys, is that it's an easy uh, like access pantry. You don't have to go armpit deep reaping, reaching into something to get to it. It's all right there and available. Now, uh, kind of similarly, the kitchen storage in here is also pretty great. They've done a good job of making everything easy to access. And I also like the very interesting choice they made with the two big drawers instead of the three little ones. Um, I don't really think any, like, two big versus three small is one's better than the other. I just think that sometimes there's big stuff like spatulas that you can't fit into those small drawers that you can fit into here. Or like a nice flashlight or stuff like that, you know? So we've got great prep space in a camper here that normally wouldn't have a whole lot of prep space, but because we have that waterproof countertop, they can have a recessed sink and stovetop that give us maximum prep space in minimum actual space. 
The uh, entertainment center up here, it's all ready for a TV. Uh, Cherokee campers, like this one, uh, do not include TVs new from the factory, so you're not looking at anyone who's ever a scavenger, but what I like is, again, because this thing was barely ever touched, the original TV mount and everything is still here. Now, if you choose to add a TV onto this mount, it can actually float inside or outside for dual use, and that is Bluetooth and DVD. Also, right by the door, shoe garage so that you can cut the clutter and you can keep all the shoes by the door and uh i mean <laughs> you know the vents are shining down in there guys uh you know central air central heat this thing just really wasn't used now up front here we've got dual full length hanging wardrobe closets with nice little mirrored doors you know to reflect a little more light up here and you notice that it's an overhead cabinet not a shelf and I love this extra tall window on the door side over here. The reason I like that on the camp side is because if you hear a noise laying in bed, you can look out your campsite. You don't have to like sit up and get up out of bed. You can at a glance look out there. And of course there are privacy shades on everything. And what's also nice is they're pleated shades, not metal mini blinds. And the mattress, uh, <laughs> new, basically never used, pretty much like everything else in the camper. Other than the little cosmetic variances like the red stripe down the side and the slightly different color decals, this is still pretty much exactly what a Cherokee looks like today. And that's what's kind of cool, guys, is uh, it's like, you know, if you're buying something computer related, spare tire under here, by the way, um, something I always used to recommend to people is buy whatever was state of the art six months ago because you'll get it at half price and it'll still be 90% as good. Now the only thing I can say on this one, the like if I'm being super ultra nitpicky, um, right here on the front of the camper, the nose decals, this thing, the, the nose obviously face the sun in storage. So you can see that there's a little bit of uh, peeling flaking going on with those. What I would do, I take a power washer and I just blow them off and leave this nose looking nice and clean. And every time someone does that, they go, you know, actually, I kind of like it without all the stickers everywhere. You know, the stickers are there for the manufacturer to present themselves. And a lot of people, they just like the camper and they like it to be theirs. And I think sometimes having someone else's name blown off of it kind of helps uh, accomplish that. Power tongue jack up front, you're also going to find a power awning with LED lighting on this. You've also got extra thick aluminum nose skin on this. The entire nose is basically uh, a diamond guard. Um, the uh, windows we mentioned inside, but big, uh, you know, max size windows for maximum airflow and lighting. There's storage below the rear bunk back here. Outside utility shower back here to be able to hose the kids off is always a crowd favorite. Uh, cargo rack on the back here now. The spare tire that you saw under the bed actually can mount on the back of that. I actually like that the folks didn't leave it on there because they rarely used it, so they didn't let it just get sun and weather checked. Um, you know, the, uh, the the spare tire inside then is basically brand new. Now, we are backup camera ready on here. We do have a full walk-on roof. Uh, we've got a simple solar prep up by that front baggage door. And it's funny, you see them all over the place now. They always say, like, Zamp solar prep. Actually, it was the Furion company that really kind of brought that into the RV mainstream, and that's what you're going to find on here is when Furion was first making their big push in the RV business. Now, a lot of folks get kind of spooked by the fact that we have a door that leads us directly to the bathroom, and I think it's because they forget that you've got the same deadbolt security here that you have on your main entry door. And having that bathroom right there to keep the kids uh, from tracking dirt through the camper just to hit the bathroom all the time. It's so so handy So here's that matching TV mount uh, where uh, I mentioned on the inside You've got that floating TV mount it would everything mount out here now if you throw a DVD on the player inside It will mirror outside and by the way, these are anti slam entry doors This is again one of the first generations you saw that feature come into play You see how it grabbed itself even when I fling it. Oh, I actually got it to touch right there I really gave her heck this is an easy tilt awning, by the way, which is one of those nice things that with two fingers you can pull down. And directly below that front awning arm is a propane grill hookup, so that uh, if you do feel like doing some grilling outside, you're good to go. I can't, I guess I can't say it enough. Here, you're basically just paying a used RV tag for a <laughs> almost never used camper. If you don't care that the front stickers are a little flaky and you care about everything else, you're gonna do very well here and you're gonna be very happy with it. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.